Recently, I was working in an organisation and um, the CEO sent me an email and he said to me, oh, by the way, we're going to make a $480,000 loss for last month. And I went, what? And then two weeks later, we were working with the team and I said, guys, who didn't know this? And they went, oh, we all knew. And I said, yet none of you spoke about it. So no one wants to know the question to ask that says, how did that happen? And when did it start happening? And at what point did you walk past it? We don't want the bad news. We don't want to be responsible for our part in whatever's going on. Imagine asking the tough question. So this happened in February. In fact, I said to them, what is the lag period in your business? That is the time when you begin to market and push into the market to the point when the money drops, right? How long does that take? And they said anywhere between 90 and 180 days. So I said, so tell me what you were doing 180 days ago inside of this business. What was going on? What decisions weren't you making? What pushes weren't you making into the market? And what calls were not being made? Because if you knew what you were doing back then, you will know why the result is the, the way it is today. That's the question people don't want to know. They act surprised. No, it was not a surprise. Because in November, when I spoke to the CEO, I said, what are you doing about this? I can see the numbers. When we ask questions, it actually forces people to think. And there's a great quote by Henry Ford, and he said, the hardest thing in the world to do is think. That is why so few people do it.